Hello everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. <laughs> so I haven't mixed this yet. I just poured it. But I'm mixing up. Well I have 12 ounces of my regular tea expert epoxy resin. And look at this giant pumpkin. This is the largest pumpkin mold. Oh, sorry for the rattling, you guys, that you can, that I have found. It is gorgeous. It is huge. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like 15 bucks or something like that. Really nice. I wish it wasn't so thick. The walls, I wish they had made it a little bit more open in here. But, yeah, that's what we're doing today. This thing, it says on the website, holds 21 ounces. That's a lot of resin. We'll, well, well we're not going to see because I'm not mixing up 21 ounces. I've got 12 ounces of resin. I have some homemade, look at this, homemade glitter alcohol. I made this using, this is the orange chameleon flakes. So my goal is, to, when I made this, to make it just like the marabou, marabou, marabou inks, I have the rainbow. Now, my goal was to try to mimic this and make it in many colors. And remember I showed y'all where I made the other ones and the flakes did not break up? that well they kind of stayed a little chunky well i figured out how to break up those chunks and it is just literally just like this i have not tried it so we're going to try this in this pumpkin today now i know it gives off a green orange hue but it's supposed to be orange we're going to see because i'm trying that out today and my hopes is it mimics the marabou ink rainbow the shimmery stuff and we're going to use this the picasso sunset i love this orange it's like a orangey red i love this orange and we have glass the broken glass that i used we're putting glass in this bad boy to make up some resin because i'm not mixing up all that resin for a pumpkin so, the first thing we're going to do is, I haven't mixed this yet, got my mixer out, we are going to put, before I start mixing, we're going to squirt, so, and I want to shake it good, I don't have a ball in here, I've just got a little rock in here, them balls get stuck in your little drip thing, they, think, they, they block it, so yeah, we're going to squirt, oh look at that, so we're just going to give it a good little squirt. And we're going to experiment and see how this turns out. And if this actually works really good, at the end I will show you how I made that. Now, I'm going to add my sunset. And it is a really pretty, like, dark red orange. See? I'm not even going to count. I'm just going to squirt because it's a lot of resin. And we're going to get this, oh, look at that shimmer from that, that alcohol ink that I made. Oh, that is, I think that's going to actually work, you guys. And I am going to show y'all how I made that. So, I think that is good. I don't want it like a dark, dark orange. Actually... I think I'm going to actually squirt some more of this in here because I am loving this. Just give it a little squirt. And all I did was use alcohol and chameleon flakes. I used the one that was called orange. And oh my word, that is giving a nice sparkle. Yes, it is. And I'm praying this works. And I'm going to show y'all how I made it. I've never seen anyone try it. But if this works, game changer, you can literally take any chameleon flake and make your own alcohol ink with it. it this is, oh, this is looking so darn good. It is literally shimmering. 
Yes, it is. I'm wondering if I should add actually some more alcohol ink. I think I want to get it a little bit darker than this. So I'm going to just squirt some more in here. Because these crystal glasses is going to kind of make it a little lighter. So yeah, I think I'll add, add that a little bit more. I'm not counting drops. I'm just trying to get it to where I want it. And oh my goodness, if this works, this is going to be super awesome. And I will show you guys how I made that. And I honestly, look, I, can y'all see the shimmer on that? This is why I didn't want to add glitter because all that shimmer, oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Wow. So I'm going to get this mixed up basically. I'm going to get it all mixed up. Let me scrape the sides here. And I'm going to get it in the vacuum chamber, but I'm going to put these rocks in here before I put this in the vacuum chamber. I just want to make sure it is mixed really good. After all, this is 10 ounces of resin. So I just want to get it mixed really good. That's all. Let me change my mixer over. This one is not as loud as that other one, the newer one for some reason. It's not as loud as the old one is, <laughs> as you can tell, but it still does, it has the same power, works just as good, but it is not as loud. This thing, this thing is shimmering. It has a two-tone effect where it's, it has a hint of that green, and then it has the, the orangey gold color. Oh, I'm praying that this works because that is gorgeous. I am really praying that that works. And if it does, I'm going to show y'all how I made this definitely. Wow, that is pretty. And we can make our own um, shimmering alcohol ink, you guys. Yes, we can. We can make our own alcohol inks in the colors that we would like. Wow, that is pretty. Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, just breaking it down by shaking it did not work. It left it in small, like, little flakes. I wanted it broken down like it was burnished in. So, yeah, I broke it down. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm really hoping this works. If this doesn't work, then I'm not going to waste your time. But I've got a feeling that this is going to work. Alright, so I'm going to drain this paddle. And we're going to stir in... Oh my word. Um, ouch. Can't get the... These lock and lock, sometimes they lock. Alright. So get this drained off and I will drain the rest of it over here in our little paddle drainer and now I'm going to just put all sizes in here I could have sworn I just saw oh that's a big one okay and I guess he'll throw in here too so we're just going to fill it up maybe until oh this song oh wait a minute we're at 20 ounces maybe I should stop okay <laughs> I need a large paddle. I think I'm going to get this one. So I, yeah, that way, yeah, there's no use filling it up past 20. This is, actually, I think we have like 23 ounces. Yeah. Oh, look at that shimmer in there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Well, basically now, I just want to make sure everything is coated really good. And see how that orange just turned everything? The rocks and all, but it made it a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, we're... I'm going to add a few more. 
just to be on the safe side because I don't I'm gonna have to order some more clear rocks or glass I'm calling them rocks but it's glass all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this through the vacuum chamber and just try to get as many bubbles out as I can you know it's not gonna be perfect but I'm gonna try to get everything out that I can um, this may take me a minute since now it's at 24 ounces so I'll be back as soon as this comes out the rattlesnake vacuum chamber. <laughs> See you soon. Alrighty, ev alrighty, everyone. I am about to pull this out of the vacuum chamber. It is finished. Didn't take quite as long as I thought it was going to. Probably all that alcohol ain't this in there. You know, alcohol does help pop the bubbles. I'm just going to release our pressure and get this in here before it fast cures because, after all, this is a, oh lord, it's already flash cured. No, it didn't. Oh my Jesus. Alright, so I'm going to get this in the lid and it is still sparkling. And I'm going to pour the lid clear. See all that resin running? Up. All right, I'm going to stop there and hope this has not flash cured because these rocks are hard as a rock in here. No, it, it's not. Okay, that is shimmering like crazy. All right, so spray of alcohol. I need something to wipe my hands. I got it all over me. All right, I'm going to get this alcohol pushed in here. And we are going to get... Uh, I really want to get these rocks in here. Hold on one second. Let me go around this lip real quick. I do not want any bubbles. I'd rather clean off a sharp edge than have bubbles up in here. I don't see any. So that's a good... Oh my gosh, that shimmer is all throughout this thing. I don't see any bubbles, so let's hope not. Alright, so let me get this kind of... Trying to get the... Yeah, the glass start it down here without making too much of a mess try here oh that might be too much on top get on in there get shoo Get in there. So, yes, yeah, kind of difficult getting glass down in here. Oh, Lord, look at the shimmer in there. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. So pretty. All right, that's a chunky one. All righty. Get you in there. Get you in there. Yeah, this pumpkin holds a lot. Yes, he does. It's not even past the this. Yeah. Well, at least we get. I think we got plenty. It like I said, it equaled up to 24 ounces in here. We may have some left over. This thing holds a lot. I guess the larger the pumpkin, the more resin you're gonna use. I did want to get a few, well, I ain't going to worry about it. If I don't get any rocks in there, I'm fine. I kind of just wanted them in the pumpkin anyway. Because I don't fill that up. I could have probably ended up making, instead of, what did I make, 12 ounces of resin? I probably could have got away with 8 ounces of resin and filled the rest glass. So, I got to remember that the next time. Because, yeah, I think I could have got away with less resin and more glass. I think. Oops, he, they're jumping overboard here. They don't want to go in my pumpkin. But they're going. And that's why it's good to have a clear glass on hand. Or an amber glass, especially for a pumpkin. Because whatever alcohol ink you put in here is going to just, it's going to take that on and just 
go with it. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh, let me tell you, this booger right here is going to be one heavy pumpkin. Oh, I feel him already. He's probably going to weigh 10 pounds. Alright, just want to squish him around there. Oh, let me... might get a little messy here but this thing yeah we're getting messy today oops all right we getting there we are getting there we're getting there I may be a resin hot mess but at least I have gloves on All right, I think I was doing better with my spatula. <laughs> I think I was doing better with the spatula, you guys. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think I'm going to move back the spatula. Plus, I don't want to cut my fingers off. I mean, this is glass, and all they do is break it. It's not like they sit there and make sure it's not sharp, because it's sharp. It is glass. So it's not like it's not sharp glass because it will cut your finger. Alrighty, I may need some more just plain resin in here. We will see because the glass is getting up there. Yeah, I may need just some resin in here. Which I'm pretty sure I can get some out of the thing there. Oops. Get on in the pot. Get on down. Alrighty see here how are we looking I need it to drain down in there I actually think I just need some resin now you saw the regular resin in the pumpkin lid it's okay I can still get some just resin out of here it, it is shimmering it is shimmering all through this thing. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm just letting some of this resin drain. Because I can see on the sides where it is not full. I can also see some bubbles that are not wanting to cooperate. And come up through there yeah I see one right there at least this mold you can actually see through it really good and actually see where these bubbles are so that makes a good bit of help there there's one right there where's my little thing in kind of help them come up and you can put this whole thing in the vacuum chamber as well but I doubt if I will Okay, I want to make sure this glass is flat. Is that a piece of glass or a bubble? Because some of it has, like, look like a mirror backing to it. The glass, so it kind of resembles a bubble in here. But it's just the mirrored backing. Alright, so actually, I think I can get just a few pieces of glass. I'm going to see if I can just get them around the edging here and hopefully they will stay just on the edge I really don't want them in the stem or anything yeah just a few around the edging try not to get any more resin in here because it's about to overflow so I'm trying just to get the glass and there's a big old piece of glitter that just went in there. Where did he go? Oh, I see him. 
Now if I can fish him out. I think I got him. I don't know. Oh, there's a bubble. Like I said, hopefully these bubbles don't get around this side. It's hard to get this wand up there. It, like, not a wand, but, like, up on the top there. On the very top, it's hard to get that up there. It only wants to go halfway. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to get him up there. Lord, this is a big pumpkin. Okay, I see a bubble. Okay, so I've got glass like around the edge, and I really don't want none in the stem. I just want it to stem clear. The bubbles are still coming up, which is okay. I do want this glass to lay flat as possible, though. So try to turn it to its flat side there, because I think we're good on glass. Eh. And I am going to try to get just regular resin out of here. Yeah. And finish filling it up with just the regular resin that has that orange sparkle throughout the whole entire thing, you guys. It is sparkling. Yes, it is. I got one sticking up there. I don't want no glass sticking up to cut anything with. Oh, this stuff is shimmery. I got a feeling that this stuff is going to work, you all. And we are going to be able to make any color of alcohol ink that we want. Now, I don't know. Maybe y'all have seen somebody make it before. I have not. I haven't even searched it out. It just dawned on me. I was like, let me try to break this stuff up. Oh, Lord, I thought I'd unglued this shut. It wouldn't spray for a minute. Is that a glass sticking up? Yes, it is. Yeah, I don't want any glass sticking up out of here. Okay, let me check for bubbles. We have some left. I don't know what I'm going to put this in. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really don't. Okay, I got a feeling that we have all the bubbles, but it still needs some clear in it. It still needs a little bit of clear. I'm going to try to fish some out of here. And then I kind of need something to put all this. Like I said, next time. Oh, I don't want that glass in there. Dang it. Maybe he'll lay flat. Yeah, because I don't need any more glass in here. Just want to get it as close to full as possible because it is going to shrink down. And there's a bubble on the side. Hopefully, he'll keep coming up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we probably get a few bubbles in here. Just some mini bubbles. Maybe that shimmer will help with that. Oops. I don't want to touch that because I'm going to get... I just dropped a piece of glass. Last thing I want to do is step on the glass because I don't wear shoes in the house. I go barefooted. I don't like shoes that much. I don't know. I'm just a barefoot kind of girl. That's just me. There is some stinky bubbles 
right there that don't want to come to the surface and play and be popped. They're not big, but they don't want to come up. <laughs> and like I said, a few bubbles ain't going to kill nothing. You know, I mean, you're going to get a few bubbles in here. No matter how much vacuum chambering you do, it's okay. But I want to give these as much time as possible to get these bubbles up. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to turn on a heat mat or anything. Because it's already a thick mold and it's already going to cure faster than normal. So you really don't want to turn a heat mat on or anything of that nature. I think we're good on this. I think we're absolutely perfect and let me tell you the shimmer is real yes okay you know what I need to find something to put this in so try to wipe my hands off again without that way I don't have to get another pair of gloves oh boy okay um hmm <laughs> Ooh, you do not want to be moved, do you, buddy? Let me check this side while I'm moving you. want to make sure. See how that looks like mirror glass? It's not a bubble. Okay, I got to find a mold. I have to find a mold. I have to, what kind of mold do I want to put it in? That's the thing. Oh, boy. No... No, 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 that's a no, <laughs> no to everything, oh gracious, do I have a new mold in here that I can pour that into, and it would look good, probably not, Oh, this is probably, that's way too small. Those little rocks would never get in there and neither would that one. Oh, dang it. Come on now. You're running out of time, girl. You're running out of time. This thing is going to cure on you. I wonder if it's enough to do this. Probably not. Let me put that back. Probably not. No, I mean... Dang it, I don't have any new molds that that would go into there that I would want to use it into. Okay, we got to think fast. We need a small mold, but yet not a super small mold. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I haven't made this in a while. Oh man, it's not going to be enough though. No, it's not going to be enough. That is not going to be enough. It's too big of a mold. Well, Lord, what is this? Got what this mold is. Oh, I remember what that is. I don't want that. No. No. That's a no. That's a no. Everything. 
thing is a note. I've got to find a mold. You know what? Where's that mold at? Oh, I know what I'm going to use, but I don't know where I put it at. Dang it. Dang it. Where did I put it at? Uh-oh. Please don't cure on me. Oh, uh, there it is. I'm going to just use the little whale mold. Or dolphin. I think it's a dolphin. But for some reason, I keep calling this pogo thing a whale. So, yeah. <laughs> for some reason, I keep calling him a whale. I just hope there's enough resin in here to at least get it started. But we did kind of use all the resin. Like all the liquid resin. I'm pretty sure it'll seep down in there. I'm hoping. Yeah, get over in there. So I'm hoping it will sink down in there really good. That's the game plan. Well, I got it in his little thin up top there. Now if I can get some in his tail there. See, it's draining in there. I just got to make sure those bubbles come out of there. Yeah, you got some bubbles in there. Come on out. Yeah, there we go. Bubbles coming on out. We want a bubble-free whale or dolphin. It says dolphin mold. It, it looks like a whale to me. Maybe it's just me and I'm cuckoo. I don't know. Okay, get on up. There goes some more bubbles. I did get the fin good, though. Yeah, the fin is good. The fin is good. Eh? Don't want to waste none. We don't have enough to fill it, but I can put some um, resin in here a little later. And finish him off. Maybe some, um, just dye some clear up. Oh, well. Yeah, I probably just need some clear in here because the... The glass has gone all the way up. So, yeah, we definitely don't need any glass in here. We've got plenty of that. Oh, there's a bubble right there. Yeah, we got plenty of glass in there. It's a little bubble. Sticking back there. Oh, I see one coming up here. And it's already starting to like cure on me because it's so thick. So I'm trying just to babysit this bad boy. And anything come up around this rim should come out. So yeah, I'm just trying to babysit it because most of your bubbles are going to come up right in here. That's where they're going to form at, trying to get up. See, there go one. So they're going to try to get up, but they're going to get stuck right in here. Because you're, make, you're making bubbles when you add this to your mold to begin with. And plus, it's never bubble free. And when you're putting glass in here, it's going to make bubbles going in and out. So, you just do the best you can. That's all you can do. Alright, so if I scrape this down... This whole thing should be good. Yeah. I scrape all the resin out my cup. And at least it's not curing on me. So, I mean, it is getting a little thick. But it's not, it's not to where I can't get it out. So, that's a good thing. If I hadn't took so long to figure out what mold to use, but everything I pulled out was either too big or the glass would not fit down the sides of it and I knew it wouldn't work.
Yeah, because you don't, I mean, if it's too big, then you're going to have a lot of filling up to do, so that don't make no sense. But this little whale held exactly the right amount, actually. Or dolphin. Dolphin. I'm going to keep saying dolphin, 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 dolphin. It's supposed to be a dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. I had a cousin named Al Dolphus. I used to call him Dolphin. That's just the nickname I had in my head. I don't think I ever said it out loud. I didn't want to die. <laughs> oh, Lord. Al Dolphus. That's a name you do not hear that often. Well, I have a cousin. He's still kicking. I mean, not Jinx the Pole Man. I mean, not Jinx the Pole Man. Oh, Lord, this cup needs a nice cleaner upper. All right, so, well, basically, we probably a half ounce more would fill that puppy all the way up, but I really hope that is straight. Okay, because it is starting to get thick on me, and I am not going to be able to maneuver it. Oh, I think I just got resin on my, my um, arm. Oh my gosh, I am so sticky. I think I'm going to have to change gloves just to clean the cup or I'm just going to be putting resin back on it. Shoot. Yeah. Or you know what? I'll just take a paper towel and put on the handle there. So I'm not reintroducing resin. That may help. I don't like wasting gloves. Gloves get expensive when you're using two or three pair per um per episode. <laughs> and I mean, you think you get a, a pack of gloves, a hundred in there, that's only 50 pair. It's not like you're getting a hundred pair. You're only getting 50 pair of gloves. And if you're using two to three sets of gloves during one filming, it goes pretty quickly. Ow, I just hurt my knuckle. That did not feel good. Alright, you guys, I know I'm just taking up y'all's time cleaning a cup. But it's what we have to do. We have to clean our cups. And boy, this stuff is sticky. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. I am going to attempt to wipe this up. I don't know if it's going to come up right now or not. But I'm going to attempt to wipe it up while it is halfway wet. That way I don't have so much clean up later. And I got a feeling that we're all going to want to make these. Because, yeah, I put a lot in there. I don't think I really even had to put that much in there. And I got these little bottles off Timu. I am pretty sure you can find them bottles anywhere. Because sometimes people don't be feeling like waiting two to three weeks for a Timu order. And then it still don't get there on time. So, yeah. Ooh, there's another bubble. Please pop. I don't have any bubbles coming up from this lid, so I'm hoping they're not stuck under there, because this is kind of thick. And this, buddy, you're going to go right there, because I still got to clean this. So, yeah, I think we're going to really like that stuff, because I see the shimmer. I hope y'all can, because I definitely can. So, yeah, ooh piece of resin okay I am going to take off these gloves I'm going to put a clean paper towel though because I probably will be using that sprayer so I'll just wrap it around eh, that is not even oh well maybe it was please don't get resin on me I got a little bit get it off and I just picked up the whole jar with Yes, I, I, I'm special, I know. Special, I tell you. Alright. I 
Okay. Let's not block the handle. All right. So see, yeah, I'm just trying to keep an eye on these bubbles that keep popping up around the side here. And they're little micro bubbles. So that's what I'm going to try to do until this gets like, let me get something else to poke the bear with because I don't want it on my fingers. Until this gets to where I can't do this no more, I'm not going to worry about it. See, there's a few trap right there. Maybe if I tap hard enough. See, it's kind of, well, it's going to be hard as a rock down here because all the rock is down there. All right, let me leave this thing alone and just try to keep an eye on these bubbles. And I will see y'all as soon as it, you know what? I, I don't know, I better not. I was going to drop some alcohol ink in the bottom of the bowl, but I better not. Maybe I should. What do y'all think? Are y'all going to yell at me if I drop alcohol ink? I think I'm going to drop a few drops on here. Or squirt. I'm not going to do that on there. I just want it at the bottom. And hopefully it'll kind of go in and be a little dark to light. And I'm going to spray that a little bit. And actually, where's the dotting tool? I'm going to just get a dotting tool. I think I'm going to just... Oh, there's a rock sticking up or a thing there. Yeah. I'm going to just swirl it around a little bit here. I do need to go around these edges because it's starting to kind of set up to where I can't do anything. So, yeah. And this will just make the bottom a little bit darker. Oh, is that a bubble? No? Yeah. Alright, I want to keep that flat. I don't want to get cut on this thing. Alright, so that will just make that bottom a little bit darker there. Oh, I just found a bunch of bubbles. Dang it. Y'all little sneaky little boogers. Y'all sickening. Y'all know that? Y'all sickening. Yeah, so we're going to have a little fine bubbles. It's okay. Oh, is that a rock? Yep, I thought that was a bubble coming up. That's a rock. Alright, so I think I pressed the alcohol ink in there pretty good. Perky, perky good. I need something. I know I still got the camera going. We are. Is that 49 minutes? No, I can't see. Why can't I see? Oh, Lord, we're 32 minutes. Mm, all right, you guys want to make sure we was on. I'm going to show you how to make this. So, I take a, I, I get a silicone cup. I like the silicone to use for this because I want to bend it. So I put two squirts of alcohol in here for now. Now this time I'm going to make up violet. And I'm going to carefully. I don't measure this. I just dump some in there. Um, yeah. I just dump a little bit in there and I do it like that because you know how this stuff flies so this is the violet and see it's all in there and this is a very like stiff bristle brush I chopped some of it off it is really stiff and scratchy you want to break this stuff up get you a very short haired bristle brush and all I do is break that stuff up with this brush. That's all I do with the alcohol. Break this thing up. And just brushing it like this breaks it all into itty bitty 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 fine pieces. And that's all I did with the other one. 
and see how it's just breaking up oh, just keep just like um mortar and pestle only we don't need that and that would be a waste because you would never get all the stuff out so yeah you just want to see it's still a little big just keep working it with this brush you don't need a lot of alcohol in it for right now because you're going to need to clean this alcohol this is going to have some I'm going to call it soot that rises to the top so actually because I've done use this before let me get a paper towel to sit this on there's not a lot in this jar so because I've had this for I would say about a year now so I'll probably just end up going on and putting the rest of it in here. Well, actually, that's not the rest of it. Okay, let me stop. I'm going to spray another little light squirt here. little light squirt. And just keep breaking it up. And this is going to fill a whole little jar. And you can make as much as you want. But start off with a little bit of alcohol ink because it's easier to break it up and you just keep going like this going and going oops if you get it on the side like that don't try to brush it just take your alcohol and wash it down see how it's still some big chunks so yeah you want to just keep going until you see no big chunks whatsoever this may take you some time but this is all i'm doing and with the silicone cup, I just squeeze, oops, <laughs> squeeze the tip and I put it in a little, where's my bottles? I know I've got some more. I need, I'm actually going to have to order some more. I got two left. I got some larger ones, but yeah. So I'm going to put it in there once I get it all broken up. It's still not broken up yet. And you can just go up and down because it's stuck in the brush. I still see some bit and it just takes a minute just work it out you just want to work it because you don't want no big chunks you just want to keep working at it mixing it all in it's just alcohol and chameleon flakes that's all this is but you do want to strain it and I will show you how to strain this because you don't need all the nonsense stuff that it leaves behind basically because this is what came out of this one that I strained and it's just stuff that you don't want to keep in there this is all you need this strains that once this settles down really really good you pour off that alcohol let it settle and you slowly pour it off i just pour it into a little cup because this is going to get thrown away but i saved it just to show you because you don't need that that's just probably the additives that they have in the flakes or whatever the stuff you don't need in it and i can see the shimmer so i know this is going to look beautiful and actually work this is why i'm going on and doing this all right so i'm not really seeing any big flakes i don't know the cup's kind of deep i don't think y'all can really see down in there but all i see is blue shimmer and this one was called violet so i'm not sure if it's going to show violet but right now it's showing blue and i'm just swishing it around really well yeah on an angle it is violet yeah Actually, I'm going to just put the cup on the mat here because it's a lot sturdier. And yeah, the alcohol is going to evaporate while doing this some, but don't worry about it. That's what the spray bottle's for. I like using the spray bottle because, oop, there's a stinky bubble popping up. See, I'm doing this while I stand guard because... I'm really trying to stand guard for oh it popped on its own. I was gonna really pop that bad boy. So I figured I'd do this while I'm watching out for bubbles that are gonna come up. 
so yeah I'm just like I said trying to get this broken in it's I mean it takes some time you know you're gonna have to work it and you you know I couldn't get them broken up the other way I thought just put them in a bottle and shaking it would break them up nah but I would advise not a glass but a silicone cup because it's maneuverable you can pinch it and I don't know I just I'm using it I wouldn't have, I mean I think it would just be easier to use I actually think that is broken up really good so yeah I do not see I'm gonna swirl it around here I do not see any large chunks whatsoever and if there is one or two in there then hey there's nothing we can do about that now is it but I don't see any so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pinch my my um where's my bottle oh first let me get a rock to put in here so I don't use the colored shells because they are dyed I just grab one or two of these I get one that kind of fits in here and these I use these for my shaker so see how thick that is he's going in there for my shaker I usually put two that'll be good right there and that's what I use for my shaker because if you put one of them little balls in there them things get stuck in your needle it won't let you squirt nothing out and that thing gets really sickening okay so like I said I'm holding my brush in there. Don't take your brush out or you're going to lose pigment. And I am going to pour what I can in here. Whatever's in here, we're going to pour in here. Now, oops, thank God the top was on that. Let me move this. Now, see all the stuff still back there? We're going to spray the heck out of it. And it's just going to, we're probably going to do this two or three times and just get it all out the brush out the top of the cup see all that was still in the brush so this it makes a lot so see we want to wash all this down but we don't want to lose a thing and probably do this one more time I like to just make sure my brush comes clean and you're getting all that stuff out of your brush and you're not wasting anything and then we will have a violet one or blue whatever color it turns out it says violet yeah. all right so it's not even halfway full with alcohol so I'm just gonna keep on spraying and you know that spray doesn't put out a lot and see I'm still getting stuff out my brush so I kind of want to do that until my brush is basically clean so I'm cleaning my brush at the same time because I want to get all that stuff that's stuck in there there's a lot that was pounced in here my poor brush he's all pounced up so yeah I want to get all that broken loose from the brush any more bubbles come up what is that Probably a flake flew in there knowing my luck. I think it was. Oops. Don't get in there. Oh, is that a bubble? Yep. <laughs> it was a bubble in the whale. A dolphin. Alright. So we got some more that come out of here. I kind of squeeze my brush out. Try to get that to pinch a little bit more. And, and I do have funnels. I don't use the funnels, I know, but I have funnels. I have a whole bag of the funnels. I don't use them. I really don't. Alrighty, and this will probably be the last time we have to do this because, see, now it's not leaving as much pigment in here. So this will probably be the last time. And then I, I usually just go to the sink and rinse the cup out with some warm water. 
and the brush and get it ready for the next time. So see, yeah, there's not a lot coming off this brush. Yep, not a lot. I don't bit that poor thing up though. But like I said, you want to really get in there and break up that the um the flakes. You want to break them up into that alcohol. Okay. So I think we are good. See, even on the brush, it's coming out clean. So we're going to just get this in here. And see, our cup is clean. Minus some hairs that done floated in there. Now, what you want to do now, I'm going to just rinse this off a little bit on the sides here. And let it go down. So what we're going to do now is, where'd the top go? I'm going to put my top on here. And I'm going to let this sit for probably 30 minutes. I'll probably just let it sit until we come back and unmold this. But basically, now you just want to put your top on it. And I don't put these down to the thing because they sickening, but I do put them on top. But I don't hook it to that because they sit in. And shake it a little bit. And I'm going to just sit this over here. Oh God, now I got the hiccups. I'm going to sit it over here on the side because my heat mat is on. So yeah, I'm going to take this in the kitchen and clean it. But my heat mat is on so I don't want to. I forgot to clean that. I don't want to leave it on the heat mat. Um, Yeah, let me take the alcohol off the heat mat too. What else needs to come off the heat mat? That can stay on the heat mat, but that needs to come off. Those can stay. Everything else can stay on. Okay. Don't leave your alcohol on the heat mat. Yeah. Or any. Pl these plastics are fine. They withstand heat. But don't leave anything like these or your mica powder cups. They will melt. So we're just going to let this. Oh, he's getting there. We're going to let him cure. That's looking good. But I will say some of the glass moved into my stem. Little boogers. Yes, it did. Some of the glass moved into my stem. I guess it says it'll do what it wants to do. But see, yeah, we're just going to let that settle. And at the end, you're going to see a bunch of sediment at the bottom. And it's going to be dirty at the top. I don't know what color this one's going to be. This one, as you can see, has been sitting here. Well, actually, it's still glimmering. And it's clearer than it was. Imagine this is what this alcohol looked like. So I was like, um, I think we need to drain that. So I tested it. This has no shimmer in it whatsoever. So, yeah, it's basically just dirty brown alcohol. No shimmer to it. And basically, we have all our shimmer. See it stuck to the bottom? In there. That's why you want to shake it up. And, like I said, little pebbled rocks, little stones. Don't use the round balls. They just get stuck in your little hole and pee in your cornflakes. That's all they do. So, like I said, we're going to just let this sit. I can already see the line of the, the, where it's separating. So, I'm going to let that sit and we'll be back. Alrighty, everyone. So, see all of it sunk to the bottom. Hopefully, y'all can see that. We're going to pour off that muddy alcohol there. And we're going to take our time doing it because that stuff, I believe, really works. I see shimmer throughout all this. So, yeah. So, we're just going to pour this off now. And pour it off slowly as to where it won't mix. So, you want to pour it slowly. Just pour off that top of that alcohol with all that stuff that's just, I guess, additives or whatever that we don't need. We're getting there. We're not going to be able to get every drop because, see, it's already to the bottom and I don't want to mess up nothing. So, that's our little dirty water. 
So instead of using a spray bottle, I'm going to just fill it up with my alcohol. I use 91%. Only because I get this from Walmart. And apparently, I can't find the other one. The 99% unless you buy it online. And yeah. So we're just going to tap it off. Cap it off, not tap it off. And we're done. We are done. And this will be ready to use. And this is the violet color. So see all the color in there? Yeah. So it's probably a blue, purpley color. But yeah, that one will be ready to go. And you have your own shimmering alcohol ink, just like the Marabou ink or Marabou. I'm, like I said, I probably say that all wrong. So yeah. And just discard this because this has no color or anything in it. So... I just discard it. Save my little cup because I will be making some more. And it just had alcohol in it. So, but yeah, now you're good to go. You have a whole bottle of alcohol ink with sparkly shimmerness to it. Yep, yeah, look at that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but yeah. Simple and easy. And this is the one we used in our pumpkin here so yeah i got two so i'm gonna just go on and open this up so we can see oh yeah that shimmer is throughout the whole oh i ain't got no bubbles thank you lord no oh, uh, oh no that's not a bubble that's looks like a piece of crushed crystal that got in there now my my um dang it my um glass did get thing down in here so see look i don't know if you can tell but that shimmer from this alcohol ink is all through there and it's orange it's not green i know it gives off a green hue but it's not green it literally works well yeah no i see some shades of green when i turn it okay yeah, lighty, light, light green. But yeah, it's perfect. And the only sparkle we had in this is this. And it works. It works perfect. So yeah, make your own um, Marabou alcohol ink for your sparkles. It works perfectly. All right, you guys, so we have the lid unmolded. Like I said, it's perfect, super sparkly, absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's get our dolphin or whale, whatever you want to call him, out. And I always have problems with the tail, and there is rock in here. or I keep calling it rock, but it is... Um, glass oh yeah that is so pretty so pretty a lot of overage on the outside i'm gonna have to brush him off and there is overpour it's really soft overpour so yeah had to trim him up that just peels off right now but oh he turned out so pretty i know he's a orangey color and dolphins are not orange but or whales but as a resin artist you can do any color you want <laughs> so yeah that's the alcohol ink I dripped at the bottom so it kind of stayed at the bottom but very very pretty I love glass and things it just makes it so oh all that overage keeps sticking to everything so yeah I see sparkle all throughout let me tell you you guys make your own sparkling alcohol ink you will love it this thing is super heavy oh my word he is a heavy little oh look at the sparkle Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't see. Well, I see a few micro bubbles. And they're very, very. Oh gosh, a little. Can I get this out, Lord? 
I hope I can get it out. Yeah, there we go. This is the biggest pumpkin I have found. And like I said, the whole mold without the glass in it held 21 ounces of resin. And we mixed up, I believe it was 12 ounces, and filled the rest with rock. But when I put the, not rock, but glass, it came up to 24 ounces after that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at the the shimmer the the glass is beautiful oh that is pretty look at the bottom with the glass oh that is gorgeous oh that's a little darker but you know what oh my word that is okay that is so pretty that is so pretty Oh, I love this pumpkin. And you see, it fits in the palm of both my hands. And my hands are big. So, yes, this is not a small pumpkin. This is a big boy pumpkin. And you have room to put you some candy in there. Let me tell you. You could put you a tea light in there, like someone said. Instead of fairy lights, you could use tea lights. The lid fits perfectly. Oh my word. That is so stinking cute. I was trying to see what I... Oh, here they are. I was trying to see where I put the other fairy lights at. I just wanted to put some light in here. Just in case you wanted to put lights in here. But that is so pretty. I just want to see what it's going to look like. With some, oh wow oh wow I don't know if y'all can see that oh my goodness that is beautiful and this booger is heavy we should weigh him let me take out the fairy lights I'm going to weigh him and see how much he actually weighs because this little booger here is heavy Oh, let me get the scale. I don't know what that... Oh, that looks like I spilled alcohol on that. Alright, is it on ounces? Yeah, let's see how many ounces this bad boy is. Oh, he was 38 ounces. Hold on, let me get the pounds. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. There's the button. Grams, pounds, and ounces. We'll leave it on pounds and ounces. He is 2 pounds and 6.4 ounces. So almost 6.5 ounces and 2 pounds. So yeah, he's a beast. But he is gorgeous. Oh, and that, that ink, the alcohol ink. Oh, <laughs> it's the, the little thing, tab I pulled out is stuck. It is beautiful absolutely beautiful very oops very little micro bubbles and i do mean a very little you can barely notice them there's one little bit bigger one right there but he's not even noticeable i'm telling you this thing is gorgeous oh i love this look all the glass in there just makes it look like crystal he is beautiful and he is big as you can see okay let me just turn that off we done with him that is gorgeous that is one gorgeous pumpkin i'm trying to let me see if i can find oh yeah let me get the other pumpkin mold and you can see the size difference because this is the pumpkin I did the last time. Let me get, get it out so you can see the size difference of the pumpkins. Because they are huge. This is the pumpkin, the acorn pumpkin I did. Look at him. Size wise. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take you off the pedestal here. Look at him. He's a baby compared to... 
the size of that pumpkin. I think he's five inches. He's huge. Huge. And size wise, yeah. Nice. You could probably get a whole bag of candy corn in that one, which would be awesome. Yeah, so that is absolutely beautiful. They actually look really pretty together. <laughs> Even though he has some bubbles in him, but honestly, he still looks absolutely adorable. Yep, that is so pretty. That turned out great. And don't forget to make your own alcohol ink, sparkly ink. That stuff turned out really nice, and it worked. Look at the sparkles. I still like this one, too, though. This one just had the glitter and stuff in it. Yep. All right, you guys. That was our pumpkin episode. And to show you how to make your own marabou ink. Where did I put it at? You know, I mean, it's just like this. This one's the rainbow marabou alcohol ink. And I'm telling you, it's the same thing as this. I'm telling you guys, it's the same thing. And you use whatever colors you want. All I did was... Well, you saw me, but all I did was flakes, chameleon flakes, alcohol, oops, almost dropped alcohol, a stiff bristle brush, this thing is really, really stiff, put a little alcohol in there, and pound it in until you get no more, I still got to wash this out with some water, pound it up until you only see fine material in there and you're good to go and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour and strain it and you are good that was this one see all the sediment at the bottom yep so this one would be the like I, it was what violet so like a purpley blue very very pretty all right you guys i hope y'all found this um video informative i appreciate y'all so much and everyone have a blessed day thank y'all for watching see you soon on the next episode bye for now